I'm MWG and let's get right into the winter. Now forget about Winter Storm Grayson, the Bombogenesis Storm, the Bomb Cyclone. Now we have Winter Storm Hunter, just a week later after a Bombogenesis Nor'easter. Here's the funny connection between Hunter and Grayson. Grayson brought all mostly snow from Jacksonville northward on I-95. Well, Hunter is going to bring all rain at around 50 to 70 degrees. The week before Winter Storm Grayson and then the week of Winter Storm Grayson, it was freezing all across the eastern U.S. But now the jet stream's more north, allowing more warmer, milder air from the equator to warm up the U.S. Negative 10, 0, 10 degrees were common in the eastern U.S. For many of you on the eastern coast, especially the I-95 corridor where you got a ton of snow from Grayson, the Hunter's coming at a good time for you because it's going to be all rain. It's kind of taking away the snow, especially in the New England where you got tons of snowfall. It's starting to melt. Well, all I said right now about about winter storm hunter is that it's gonna rain on the eastern coast well why is it called a winter storm if it's gonna snow it's got to snow somewhere and that's gonna be the midwest anywhere from ohio to minnesota that's where you're gonna see that snowfall cities like chicago detroit st louis cincinnati they're gonna see some decent snowfall amounts not crazy numbers because you switch over from rain to snow because of that arctic cold front but you are gonna see a little bit of some snow there is some winter storm advisories and warnings in place along that arctic cold front bringing some snow on the back end of that but for most people in New England it's gonna be all rain which is good news for some and bad news for others if you like snow but I'm sure many of you on the East Coast are enjoying the rain and enjoying the warm for a while now because next week it's gonna be ice cold again as soon as that hunter cold front comes through it's gonna be chilly Arctic air cities like Boston and New York City are gonna see chilly low temperatures in the single digits yet again so get used to that but for right now for the east coast enjoy your little rain enjoy your little warmth because it's not gonna last long and for the midwest enjoy a little bit of snow but now here comes the arctic temperatures for the whole u.s yet again a repeat of like a couple weeks ago i'm sure there's gonna be more fierce winter storms from here but that's it for winter storm hunters so make sure you smash that subscribe button right here to stay informed and i'll see you in the next one